Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we studied about SAP graphical user interface. We studied how to add a server into SAP logon pad. We logged in into the SAP system by passing a username and password. Now, when you gave the username and password, after login after logged in into the SAP system, what the first screen appear to you? And that is our topic. The first screen which is appearing to the user is called as SAP Easy Access Screen. Suppose if I will show you, if I will log in again into the SAP system, I will double click. I will double click on to the server. Now I will give the username and password. This is our SAP GUI with the help of SAP GUI. This is our graphical user interface. I provided the username and password. And after that, but the first screen app is appearing to every user is SAP easy access screen. Now, if I will read the first point after login into the SAP system through graphical user interface, the first screen which is appearing is called as SAP easy access. Now, if I will go for second point, it is a user specific point of entry into SAP system. Yes, this point is totally right. This is a point of entry into SAP system. Whenever I logged in, this is the first screen. After that only I can do the further things or I can access the applications into SAP. So it is a user specific point of entry. How I entered, it's a entry point for me into the SAP system. Now, if I will go for the third point, this SAP Easy Access is also called as SAP User Menu. It is also called as SAP User Menu. Just see, it is clearly saying SAP Easy Access User Menu for this particular user. And what is this? This is my user ID. With the help of this user ID, I logged in into the SAP system. With the help of this user ID, I logged in into the SAP system. And this is my user menu. This is my user menu. We'll go for simple example. Suppose I'm saying you are working on 10 SAP applications daily. If they are appearing in your user menu itself, Whenever you are logging into the SAP, those 10 applications are appearing here. So from here itself, you can access those 10 applications. So just see, but itself is saying easy access. You can easily, easily access those 10 applications. Suppose simple example, I'm a technical person and daily I'm working on or daily I'm working on 10 reports or 10 transactions. If they are appearing here itself in my user menu, I can access those applications very easily. From here itself, I can navigate to those 10 applications. So what a basis person. So this all about this task is a basis person. Suppose I am working on 10 transactions daily. So basis person will create a role. In that role, he will assign those 10 items. And whenever I will log in, those 10 applications are appearing to me in this SAP easy access screen itself. And I can access those 10 applications. So this is the main, main benefit of SAP easy access. From here itself, you can access all the applications, whatever the daily task you are doing. So if I will read the last point, you will automatically understand the user menu, the user menu, user menu contains or consists of all the tasks 
which you are performing daily. Suppose daily you are working on 10 reports, daily you are working on 10 transactions. So those all things will appear here. Those all things will appear here. So from here itself, we can access all those applications. Now, now I will go for next point. In this SAP Easy Access, we can create favorites also. Yes, this is a very, very, very useful feature. Suppose I'm accessing 10 things. So I will add into my favorites. So how we can add favorites? Suppose if some existing item is there, if some existing existing item you want to add into favorite so how you can add you can select you can go for favorites and you can go for add once i will click on to add this particular item will add into favorites suppose i will go for add have you seen in this message overview notification added to my favorites yes so now, suppose this is the way how a existing item you can add to the favorites. Suppose you want to add a new transaction. To, uh, you want to add a new transaction to the favorites. So how you will add? Suppose you can go to favorites. You can choose favorites. You can go to favorites. And we have an option insert transaction. Just wait in the future we have the topic but is transaction code. Suppose I am always always working on the classes. So I will add SC24 transaction code as a favorite. SC24 is the transaction code for the classes. And you can see a BAP class builder is automatically coming. Whenever I will double click you can see I will navigate to class builder. Suppose I want to go for function module. I can access from here. Suppose I want to go for a BAP editor. I can grow from here itself. So see from the one screen from the SAP easy access screen. I can navigate to all the other applications. Just wait for a future topic. In that future topic, you will understand what is transaction code how we can go for or what is the understanding of the transaction code. So what is the summary of the video? Yes, important topic. Yes, what we studied in this particular video. After you logged in into the SAP system, the first screen which is appearing to you is SAP Easy Access screen. It is an entry point of view. It is an entry point for a user into SAP system. It is also called as SAP user menu. Why it is called as SAP user menu? Because you will find the menu items on which you are working, on which you are working daily. So those menu items will appear in the SAP easy access screen. SAP basis person will create a role. Whatever the menu items you are working frequently, he will add those menu items and whenever you will log in, those menu items will appear and you can go for all or you can access the applications from SAP Easy Access screen itself. Then we studied if we have an existing item in our user menu, if we have an existing item in our user menu, how we can add? You can simply choose the existing item. You can go for add. If you have a, if you want to add a new item, so how you can go? You can go for add, you can go for favorites and you can go for insert transaction. In the next few videos, in the next upcoming videos, you will also learn what transaction code is. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.